Well, I'm a little bit nervous. This is, uh, I haven't done this um, before in a long time. Um, I, uh, I was given a couple questions from Pastor Daniel that I'm going to go through. Um, I'm going to change it a little bit from what I was going to originally say. And uh, anyhow, um, I was brought up in a Christian home, a Christian reform, a very conservative church in, in a little town called Dunville. And um, um, I have four other, um, uh, three sisters and a brother. And my um, parents, uh, um, we would, I'm a little nervous, sorry. I'm gonna, maybe I should start again. i got my nervous gone here. <laughs> it's not exactly how I wanted it to start. Um, okay, so I was raised up in a Christian Reform family. And um, we would read uh, and the Bible at the table every day. We would pray. and um, um, But uh, I think there was always a belief in God, even as, at a young age. But at the age of 17 in the church, it, they would have us sit down and talk about our, if we believed in God or not. I think I already did beforehand, but there was no point in my life when I said I didn't believe in him. So at that time, I made a conscious decision that I would follow him for the rest of my life. And um, so some people have this great awe moment. Well, I can't say I really did. I just always believed in God. I will say we've had a lot of struggles. I've had a lot of struggles in my life, in my family. Um, I was born with scoliosis, so I've had five surgeries throughout my life, and though at the age of 11, 12, I had back surgery that would have, if I had not had it done, I would be paralyzed today. So I was very thankful that I'm able to walk today. Every day I'm here, I, I'm th so thankful. I, I would be in a different position if the Lord did not have his hand on my life. On top of that, my mother also had severe depression. So um, she would be in bed for weeks and weeks and weeks, and that was normal. I mean, we never thought that anything was wrong. That was just the way it was. But growing up, um, we learned to, to um, raise ourselves. So I mean, that, that can be quite hard for all of us. So in a sense, all of the kids in our family are extremely independent. Um, so, and so we moved out very quickly. As, and my dad was a strong um, Christian, but it's very hard for only one to, to run the home, and the other one, he was basically, she was basically dependent. So as I, um, I moved away, I moved here to Peterborough. My sister actually moved here. My, I have a twin sister, and um, I followed suit when she moved here as a young adult, and I started working at Christian Horizons. I'm sure people may be familiar with Christian Horizons. Um, and I met people through Christian Horizons that became mentors to me at that time, very strong mentors. And um, uh, at that time, I came affiliated with um, going on mission trips, and I went to Jamaica. And I went there probably about five or six times. So um, we would do street ministry, and uh, we would um, t talk with the children and do kids' programs, and it was quite amazing. And uh, while I was there, I was baptized in their river. So it was a very special moment for me um, because we would always thought that we'd be only baptized as a child, and it wasn't until... I had learned in the scriptures that actually it was a conscious decision to be baptized. So, um, so I, of course, life kind of puts some things in the way sometimes. And um, I actually met my husband there. He was a Christian. He is still a Christian, but 
he um, and um, I married him, and we ended up having a beautiful daughter. Um, the only thing is, of course, life things happen in life, and it um, he decided that he did not want to stay in the relationship. So at a month old, I was on my Leah was a month old, and I was on my own. So I meant life, things happen in life, but I will say the Lord's hand was on my life every step of the way. I had his peace. Um, there was people that came into my life to help me along the way. I mean, God has been so faithful. I am so thankful for my daughter. And sometimes people may think, you know, why, you know, why uh, what is my story? Well, I, I felt that I needed to share that a little bit. Um, he is still a Christian, and I'm thankful for that. And he's still involved in her life. Um, I don't pretend to know where what his walk is. I only needed to deal with my walk with the Lord. Um, I do pray for him. Now, I've also had... Um, so... Some things that I do in my life to, to help me stay connected with the Lord is to be in constant prayer with him. So in everything I do, and at least I try anyways, um, I keep everything in prayer. So um, if um, I just feel more connected with him, so if, ever, if I have something going on, I bring it up to him. If someone's going through a hard time, I bring it to him. So I'm constantly connecting with him. And I just want to say, if there's been hardships, he's always there for me. He's always, in every single situation, I can go back through my life and say, he has been faithful, he brought me through that, that was a hard situation, but he has, he has brought me through that every single time. Um, I've also had health issues over the years, and uh, a couple of years ago I had surgery, and I had a tumor, and um, it was very scary. And he, it, the Lord was there the whole time. It was thankfully everything was fine, and then a couple of years later I've had melanoma again, skin cancer. So I meant like. It's quite um, interesting. I mean, it keeps us, um, it keeps me relying on him for everything. And thankfully, he caught it soon enough that I'm cancer free. But um, I, I'm just so thankful that um, he's brought, he's guided me to go to the doctors when I needed to, and things were dealt with at a timely manner because it could be a different story right now. Um, I, I've been in the church most all my life, sorry, and um, I was connected to this church first through the uh, children's program. I was attending another church, and my daughter really enjoyed this program. And my friend Arlene um, invited me to the Bible study. And I really, really enjoyed that time in the Bible study and learning his word and, um, and fellowshipping with other people uh, that are Christians. And, and my daughter just thrives in the program. She, just, she loves it. She's met other children that are Christian and um, really connected with them. Um, so, and I just attend here, so then I decided to attend here, and I just find the most important thing for me in a church is that it's Bible-based, and, like, that is extremely important for me, and I felt that very strongly that this church was that, um, and that, um, I just love the people here, I love the worship, and I love when the pastor speaks. Um, I just I feel that I'm fed when I come here. Um, uh, why, so one piece of advice I would give to a new Christian, long term, sorry, a long term Christian, would be um, just to stay in His Word. I just 
the moment that I'm away from his word is the moment I feel farthest from God. So the more that I'm in the word and in prayer, I feel the closest to him. And, I'm, and when I'm farther away, I'm less satisfied with my life. So, I mean, it's just amazing how once you get in the Word, it's like the Lord shows you scriptures, even as a seasoned Christian or not a seasoned Christian. As a new Christian, I forgot about that part, is that um, I would say that they need to connect with a mentor, someone who's a strong Christian that has gone through things in their life. And I would say... Um, um, that they should plug themselves into a Bible study. And, um, and I just think that's very important. And I think, and I still, I'm, I'm not, things still happen in life, and I'm not perfect, but uh, I just think that the Lord hasn't given up on me, and he keeps on directing me and where I should go and what I should do. And there we go. <laughs>